So this is a kind of a fun little project. I've talked about the board that I had for this before. Uh, use uh, ESP32, which is just an amazing little device and uh, very, very handy. And it has uh, a little display on it that's a TFT display, 1.8 inch. So I have asked Bill to zoom in on that, although I guess we're not on the air. But anyway, uh, that's the uh, non-fancy non looking uh, display on the Android, which talks to a Bluetooth GAT server or a BLE GAT server on here to be able to send commands to it. And what I realized after screwing around with Wi-Fi forever and a day is that Bluetooth, if you're just going to be in a room and talking to the thing, is just the way to go. It's simplistic, it's straightforward, it's right there, boom, it works. So I'm going to need something with the box here, actually, because I need to go back and forth. Oh, please, feel free. Okay, so I'll, yeah. so uh, anyway, well, it's all about the show, Mark. Also on the front of this bot, it has five time of flight uh, little small distance sensors. The ST microcomputer ones, which is the VL53LOX, and what I do is I show on the display three sensors of how far something is away. So what I'm going to do here is in the second part of this little, de first part of the demo is going to try to go back and forth. But uh, if I put something in front here, you get to see a bar graph showing where the things are, whether it's to the right, to the left, to the center, or whatever. And that's kind of slick. We're going to use that because I'm going to have it go around this thing uh, in the second part of what we're doing here. All right, better put that down there, otherwise it'll think it's finding an object. So the first part of this is, I think, officially supposed to be go to one side of the table and come back again. So we'll have it do that right now. And uh, let's see. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. Okay. So we will say go forward, which is pretty obvious. <laughs> and then I have some other little things here. There's like rotate right or rotate left and the all important stop. Uh, and so now we're going to say go forward. Oh, actually, I'm supposed to do this completely unassisted, so I better start from the beginning and just hit forward, and then no mirrors. I will try not to touch the thing. Uh, I'm not currently using odometry. I'm using odometry for precise turns, but I'm not actually using it for keeping the motors uh, going the same distance. So if it drifts to one side, whoop, hit the wrong key. Let's start this again. And... Let's see. All right, so we'll uh, we'll start it going forward, and this time I won't voice over so much, which caused all the confusion. On the other side of the table, it's got down-facing time of flight sensors. Wow, the, the the wheels are way off. It's actually turning one heck of a lot. So. Uh, it's not going to do very well about going one side of the table to the other unless I actually cheat and use the short distance. <laughs> so right now it's got a pretty simple thing. It just hits the edge, turns around, and comes back. No big deal. But my big excitement on this is the little uh, display and the Bluetooth control and that kind of fun stuff. And also the use of this particular processor. And uh, what we're going to do that's that's more fun than that is we're going to have this guy, uh, let's see, I got a, I don't trust these sensors more than one meter, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it a little bit closer to that guy over there and I'm going to put it into seek mode and then uh, it'll start rotating around, it'll find with the time of flight sensors that guy and then try to push it off the table. So. Uh, and I'll put it here, and we'll do stop, 
And now I'm going to hit my little um, seek mode button, which, uh, oh, great. <laughs> it's seeking me because I was in front of it and it's standing. <laughs> Not a good plan. <laughs> Let's do a stop on that. Take it out of uh, take it out of that mode, and don't stand in front of it next time. That's the important safety tip. I got it at 0.8 meters, and so I was about a half a meter away, and uh, it found me and decided it was going to try to go after me, which is not good because I'm not going to push off the table is one thing without the bot falling off the edge. So now we can't really see these here, but on the display, you'll you end up seeing uh, the things that it sees popping up on the display, and then it finds the thing towards the center, and it moves towards it. Now what I found out is I have some corrections, so if I go to the right or to the left, if it sees the, it on the right, it's supposed to veer to the right, and then what I realized is it actually is veering the wrong way, thanks to my amazing coding techniques I used about an hour and a half ago. So I had to abort and get the heck out of Dodge. So I'm going to cheat and move that a little bit. And it's going to turn around and push it off. The fun thing with this is I put together a ton of stuff on this. And it was so cool and having great fun. And I, I like to display, I like the, uh, the time of flight sensors and all that kind of stuff. It was just really fun to mess with. And there's the display showing for you there. It's kind of hard to see from way the back row, but uh, anyway, Bill got a good shot of it. So uh, the last thing it's going to do, hopefully, it's not doing terribly well on this hastily written stuff, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into um, avoid mode and then have it go towards this thing and uh, avoid this thing by doing a pretty simple path around the thing. Wow, the odometry is, is way, it's way leaning to the left. So I'm going to put this in front of it so it goes around it easier. So now it's turning. It's a simple triangle thing. Turns to the right, goes a certain distance. Turns back to the left, goes back, and then corrects straight again is really all it's doing. So it's a fairly straightforward, uh, oh, I don't want to get it in the way, otherwise it'll find me again. Uh. I got too many modes on. It may have seen me, but... All right, so there it is. It avoided, and then it came, and one of the sensors saw the end of the table here. So now it's actually in its turn around and wander on the table mode. But it did avoid this thing, so that's the uh, last part of it. Thank you. I have a question for the club. You mentioned that uh, somebody was concerned about you possibly posting something for sale. I don't see why that is an issue no. for the club no. mailing list. They got confused. On my site, I say, oh, I got this board here, I got this board. Like this board here is the ESP32 board and everything. It's got an accelerometer on it. It's got servo outputs. It's got counters for the encoders, which, all, which are using on all of these things. And the person was thinking I was making a hard sale. I wasn't making a hard sale. I was just saying, I have these things. If you want to check them out, go and look over there. Yeah. But I, I, got, I, mean, I got other stuff like on the bottom of Moto Mouse is this really cool uh, ARM M1 motor controller thing that's going to running on the bottom of Moto Mouse later. But it's a line sensor thing as a subsystem. So the main processor just talks to it and it gets the latest scan. And it's, that's all its job is, is to do all that stuff and report back to the host. And that also is, none of this is for sale, it's just that it's stuff that I have. <laughs> That's not my point, though. My point is, if it were for sale, I don't think the club should have an issue about our club members saying, look, I made a board. Uh, we don't. Okay. okay. The rule is, though, if you're, if you're selling something, you have to pay the, the really low $10 advertising fee. Excellent. <laughs> okay. okay. That's all it is. Anyway, these little TFT displays, I believe Alex has one on his too. They are so awesome. They're not very high in pixel count, but they're really great. They really enhance the project greatly because then you can see what's happening. You can show yourself you know, what mistakes it's making or what good things it's doing. Uh, definitely put a display on your sure. box. So.